this is the flow gauge that we're going to draw so we'll draw the circles then we'll draw the uh, in incremented uh, lines in the array then we'll put the numbers onto it so first of all 75 diameter a 110 diameter and a 130 diameter so circle 75 diameter we'll just switch over to diameter and another one at 110 switched back to radius so we'll go 55 and a 130 we'll just go circle diameter 130 okay now the little markers uh, we have a angle of 90 degrees in here so we need to start with a line out at 45 degrees we don't have oh yeah we do have a length on here um, looks like 19 millimeters uh, and 12 millimeters I think it is eighteen and twelve. Right, so we'll just draw a line out from the center line to this angle. I'll just turn my uh, polar tracking on. I'll check my angles. I want a forty five degree angle there. So there's that should be forty five degree there. <coughs> So that's the line that I'm drawing along. So I'll just come back from this intersection point. Let's go back a distance of 18 for starters. So there's my first indication. Actually that looks, uh, no it's actually 12 that should be. We'll just do that again from that intersection back a distance of 12. Okay so in there is the line that I want to array. Just do an enclosing window. That's the one I want to do an array for. It's going to be a polar array. Um, centre will be there. The number of items is nine so there we go nine and the angle the fill angle will be 270 so that should be our large close that array that should be our large uh, dial indicators now let's draw the little one in so we've got six distance of six this time. Once again, a polar array. I'll just select that item, which is my six millimeter one. The center of the array. Once again, this time we want 41, I believe and the angle fill angle once again is 270 degrees so that should be our small indications divisions i can get rid of my construction line here and that first one was wrong okay now the numbers um, probably easiest for us to draw a number on the top and I'm going to do it in single line text. Let's do the justification of uh, middle center. So we'll go MC. So we'll just place the thing up here. And a height, I'm not sure what height that's going to be. Probably about five by the look of it. No rotation. And 
I'll just make this a zero for the text. Now, for some reason that hasn't centered it. I'll just move it over a tad. I think the uh, it mustn't have done a middle center there. Let's have a look at the properties of that and see what justification. Uh, it's done a middle right, so I must have missed it when I clicked. So we'll go to middle center. That's better. And now this thing should be able to just line that up exactly on that center line. Now what I'm going to do is to rotate this thing back to the starting point. So um, 90 degrees, uh, 270, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Uh, the angle from here to here, let's just do a quick measurement on it. Angular dimension from here to here, 135 degrees. So I want to rotate that thing by rotate this zero. Base point will be the center of the circle, and we want to go through 135 degrees, be minus 135 in that case. So we've got it in our starting position. Now we can do an array on that. 